How you doing? I'm Sokol, and I'm going to be going over the uh, head setup for the Blade 400. Um, go over everything about uh, servo alignment, swash plate leveling, uh, washout block uh, positioning, fly bar centering, and zero pitch in the blades. Also, doing uh, your swash mix and uh, your deflection settings, and also going over. Um, things that we can enter in here to uh, change a little bit of the way it flies. Um, I have the DS-285s installed in mine. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have stock or not. The setup will be the same. Um, Alright, well, first thing we're going to start off with is uh, make sure you disable your motor some way. Um, you can either unplug them and uh, you know to go into uh, full mode where you can have full negative and positive I uh, just you know flip over to stunt and make sure that stunt is set to uh, you know full range um, zero through a hundred and uh, or uh, what I do is I use throttle hold and I set my throttle hold pitch curve to zero to a hundred um, that way I don't have to mess with the motor wires um, either way it's just fine um, all right, let me get set up and right, I'll be right I'm back. back. Um, I have the helicopter powered up and I have the engine disabled by using throttle hold and verifying that my pitch curve on throttle hold will give me full negative and full positive uh, pitch ranges in my swash plate. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to center the servos. All right, so what you do is you center this stick the best you can. Center all the sticks. Uh, you make sure you have no sub trim and no trim and anything set up. You want everything to be zeroed out. Alright, so what you can do is you can see that your aileron, your elevator, and your channel 5 or channel 6, I mean, your aux channel is actually the pitch servo uh, is all going to be straight up in line. Um, you can just kind of see I'm a little off. There we go. Right in there. Alright, sometimes your, your lines won't line up. Um, it's just cheaply made, I guess. But I, I'd probably say 90% of the time, they're going to line up pretty close. Uh, I have a friend of mine, his doesn't line up exactly right. His is, set's a little higher than normal. But uh, we, we worked it out, and it all worked out the same. Alright, so once you verify that everything's center, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to your adjust list and we're going to go to sub trim all right all right so at this point you should have your servo arms off and now what you want to do is you want to install them the closest to being 90 out from uh you know from this arm here you, you want as close to a 90 degree uh you know it, it will probably be a little higher a little low you can see this one's a little low this is the closest i can get it um, and we're going to show you how to sub trim it out and uh, you know so once you find that go ahead and put it down um, and screw it down alright so let me give you the run over of the servos here um, as you know your elevator servo is the, the one up front uh, this one here is your aileron and this one here is your pitch um, it doesn't matter which way you install them you could uh, reverse those channels it, it doesn't matter you're just the only thing you're going to do is you're going to uh, reverse this uh, you know the, the range of the uh, servos so that they'll tilt left when you want to go left and tilt right when you want to go right it doesn't matter which way you install them alright so we're going to center my pitch servo to as 90 degree out as I possibly can alright so go ahead go over and uh, select your pitch servo as you can see you see pitch um, that's your aux channel or channel six okay that doesn't mean anything about pitching the blades it's it has to do with that specific servo okay so you go ahead and uh, turn that one on and we'll try to get this as 90 as I can All right, that looks about 90. 
Now I have about 15 set on my, let's see, yeah that's about right. I have about 15 set on my pitch. Um, you know, I've heard that's okay. Uh, I, I'm not really certain if there's a maximum that you can go to. I'm pretty sure that, you know, probably beyond 50 is probably another tooth. So, um, you know, just work at it. Try to find which position. I mean, you might even even need to use a different uh, arm. You know, you could add, it has, you know, uh, this specific one for the JR-285s. Um, you know, there's two sides that look like this. And when you flip it around, uh, the other side could be closer. Um, you know, you just got to work with it. Or you could use the one from the other side, put it on this side. Just work with them and find which one can get you the closest with using the, as little a sub trim as possible. Alright, so I'm going to um, go ahead and go around and sub trim out all my servos. And uh, all right, right I'm back. Um, I already went and I, uh, you know, made all my servo arms to be 90 degrees out. Um, now, one thing I want to go over is for the elevator servo now. You know, you can go ahead and make this 90 degrees out, but what you're really trying to get is you're trying to get the one back here to be 90 degrees out. So, you know, you go ahead and set that one 90, and you got to adjust these rods and adjust this to be matching. And once you do that, that will end up being 90 degrees out. But what you're really looking for is this, um, not particularly your servo. Uh, it's it's that, that little piece that sticks out right behind the motor. Alright, so we're going to go from here, now we're going to move up. Alright, our next, our next one to go to now is the swash plate. We're going to level the swash plate. Um, there's many ways to do it. There's using your eyeball. Um, the one trick I liked, because it was pretty darn cheap, is uh, somebody on the forums came up with uh, using the Allen wrench zip tied to the, uh, you know, a main shaft, as long as your main shaft is pretty straight, um, this should work. Alright, so to level off your swash plate, um, you just go ahead and use whatever method you want. If you've got a swash plate tool or using your eyeball, um, you know, it, it all, is, all is just fine. Um, but uh, what you want to do is, you know, you want to disconnect the arms, um, spin them out, or spin them in. Uh, just don't go too far. Um, uh, I'll show you later exactly where this swash plate is supposed to be sitting and, and relative to the, the head. But um, first we just want to get that level and then you know we'll make the fine adjustments from there. It's not really much uh, you know probably where you're going to put it. There's really probably going to be a small amount of fine tuning. Um, for me you know go ahead and, and make it as high enough where you can pretty much stick your finger right underneath here. You know, there's a good, probably half an inch of shaft from the top of this, uh, you know, the top stop here to the bottom of the swash plate. Uh, there's probably a good half an inch. Uh, that's that's probably really close. Um, for me, I'm actually moving my swash plate more up. Uh, but uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and adjust all three of these rods and level your swash plate the best you can. Uh, you can always trim it out later, but uh, use whatever tool you have, either swash plate leveling tool, that lovely Allen wrench uh, method, or just use your eye. Um, you know, go ahead and do whatever you need to. And uh, once I make that adjustment, I'll be back.